Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Versus, where I take two whiskeys, put them head to head, and let you know which one deserves a coveted spot on your whiskey shelf. Tonight I've got the Ardbeg 10, a classic single malt scotch from the Isle of Isla. Heavily peated and heavily delicious. Next we've got the Ardbeg Wee Beastie, the new kid on the block. Started in about April of this year, only a few months ago. But at a lower price point, it may very well be able to take that spot. So tonight's battle is called The Old Man and the Wee Beastie. Ardbeg 10 was introduced in the year 2000, aged for 10 years, non-chill filtered, bottled at 46% ABV, and ranges from 50 to 55 ppm, which is a measurement of phenol in the malted barley after kilning, but before the rest of the whiskey making process. It's been matured in first and second filled bourbon barrels. Wee Beastie was released in April of 2020, aged for 5 years, non-chill filtered, bottled at 47.4% ABV, ranges from 50 to 55 ppm, and is matured in a combination of bourbon barrels and Oloroso sherry casks. Stats alone, you would expect the Ardbeg 10 to be a little bit more well-rounded, it's lower ABV, and it's aged for longer, so it's had more time to mellow in the barrel. But the Ardbeg Wee Beastie should be a little bit more aggressive, just like its name. Now, the more informed among you know that a Wee Beastie is just another name for essentially a flying, annoying insect, but I've known some pretty aggressive mosquitoes out there. So. Enough of that, let's drink. All right, let's start with the Ardbeg 10. Let's go ahead and give this a nose and see what we get. Very familiar, very wonderful. So it smells like smoke. It smells like citrusy smoke, actually. A little bit of sea air in there, some salty saltiness to it. To some extent, I could picture this as pouring some salt water onto a fire to extinguish it with a little bit less acrid smoke, just kind of a, a pleasant smoke to it. I would say that it's got almost like a grassy note to it as well, so to some extent it's going to taste very earthy. Um, earthy, smoke, salt. There you go. Alright, let's try the wee beastie. Much different. Definitely hasn't rounded off as well as the Ardbeg 10, but that's okay, because it kind of puts that out there. It's not meant to be smooth. <sighs> Again, you get earthiness, you get kind of a... It doesn't take the normal smoke smell, it's more of like a mesquite wood, almost like a barbecue pit. <sighs> a little bit of like a powdered dirt in the air, like dirt road. And maybe some some grassy notes as well. So in some ways very similar, but where it really differs is this is more smoke, this is more almost barbecue. So if that makes sense. Let's get into the tasting. Cheers guys. That evolves. That evolves on the taste quite a bit. So it starts off, it's mellow very mellow and as it tries to dry and as you get to experience the finish you get a lot more smoke you get um, an earthiness again that dirt hanging in the air kind of thing in a good way and uh, a lot of heavy sea salt for me um, also probably a little bit of just I, I want to say a little fresh cut grass but but wet like wet fresh cut grass which not supposed to do that to your lawnmower. <laughs> All right, cheers to the uh, wee beastie. Let's have a little taste of water first. Mm. All right, so wee beastie, cheers. I really wanted to let that one sit on my palate for a while. This one is also pretty mellow with the taste. Now I say mellow, these are still peated whiskeys. These are mellow in the range of peated whiskeys. So just keep that in mind. The taste here is unlike anything I think I've really tasted since uh, the 201702 Booker's, which was the Blue Nights batch, which tasted like a barbecue. Um, this one tastes like the smoke out of a barbecue and the kind of like a sweet barbecue sauce. There's, there's both of those going on here. It's got kind of the chard from a burnt end, like the you know meat that you get on a barbecue. The, everything about this is making me think barbecue. Um, smoky wood, again, mesquite. So heavy, heavy tastes going on here, actually. Very, very good. 
Hmm, this is going to be tough. I will say, I did not make up my mind prior to this video. I allowed myself to kind of go into this blind, and I even opened this bottle of Ardbeg 10 right before filming this. So that will say something. This is only just barely past the neck. So I think it's still a fair comparison. All right, I'm going to have another sip of both, because that's what you do. Right now, I am leaning one way, I, I, I must say. Now when tasting this, there's, I feel like with the Ardbeg 10, it is an interesting flavor and it is good, but the complexity is actually not really there. It's similar as say a Laphroaig 10. When you drink it, you say, wow, that's a peated whiskey. But that's it. It's better than Laphroaig 10 in my opinion, but maybe someday I'll do a versus of the two of those too. But the Ardbeg 10, it feels like it's there to be an intro to peated whiskeys, and I've always kind of felt that. Let's try the Wee Beastie one more time. I'm, I'm really liking this. I think that there's there's quite a bit to be said for the Yardbeg Wee Beastie. This is about $10 less, if not more. Um, the Yardbeg, just regular Yardbeg 10, you get this for, I don't know, 50 bucks or so. This could be 35, um, I've seen it that low. 39 to 40 is pretty typical. So call it, let's just call it $10 less. Um, at that price range though, we're talking 20% of a price difference. That's worth something. Uh, when we're talking about on the shelf, I mean, physically, they're both the same size, so that doesn't matter. But, I don't know, you don't really do too much with peated whiskey other than just kind of drink it neat or possibly on the rocks or something. So, when we're considering mixers, not really a consideration. The Ardbeg Wee Beastie right now is on the forefront of my mind as being the winner here, and it's kind of crazy to say. I have been able to spend quite a bit of time with the Ardbeg Wee Beastie. Well, I shouldn't say quite a bit. I've spent some time with the Wee Beastie. It is one that I would definitely recommend people pick up, especially for the price. But it's a different flavor than the Ardbeg 10. So here's, here's my determination. The Ardbeg 10 is, in my mind, one of the best places to start somebody into peated whiskey because they'll know real fast whether they like it or not. Some people might say you want to start them on something a little bit lighter, like a Bowmore. I disagree. I think it's more fun to dive head first. Um, so Ardbeg 10 is always going to be my choice for intro to peated whiskeys, heavily peated whiskeys. But the Ardbeg Wee Beastie, man, thinking about the price range, this is a heavy hitter at that price. And it's great. And at five years aged, I not only am I excited to see what else Ardbeg does, but I think I'm going to give it to the Ardbeg Wee Beastie. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised. But tasting them side by side, I think any of you guys at home, if you can do it side by side, do it. I bet that you'll enjoy the Wee Beastie more. So, on a side note, one, one little thing. Right before filming, I went upstairs, put my kid to bed. I had come downstairs, I was about to film, uh, my wife was going to put the kids to bed, and I opened both of these bottles, I didn't have a sip of anything. And then like a minute later, she was like, hey Bill, can you come up and help? So, I capped them both, still hadn't had a sip, went upstairs, and one of my daughters immediately said, Dad, why do you smell like gasoline? I love it. I love it. So good. All right. Anyway, thank you guys very much for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. Don't forget to check out the description. There's all kinds of good links in there, um, including the links to the, the 2020 Whiskey Challenge. Don't forget to do the 2020 Whiskey Challenge. There's some really good prizes. You can find out all about it on my website, thewhiskeydictionary.com. And thank you again for joining me here on this Versus. This has been really fun, and I'm kind of happy that my opinion didn't go the way that I think some of you may have expected. So, have a great rest of your night, and cheers.